Hi guys! I found it! Actually, I help finding it. But this is like my bio hair. Closest I found when I've had my long hair and was able to wear her curly. back guys we are talking about Sarah today in caramel syrup I'm so excited to talk about her this is by John Renault if you didn't tell by the title already Sarah by John Renault and I love her um, I've been looking at her for a while wasn't sure if she would be the best fit for me but wasn't you know wasn't positive but had been wanting her for a long time okay so Let's first talk about the color. This is a fashion syrup color by John Renault. So when the color codes are FS in the front, that means it's a fashion syrup. So it's a vibrant color with plenty of gorgeous highlights in it. Okay. The 31 in it is a light brown red color as the base. So this base in here, this color right here, this is a 31. Okay. This, the darker shade okay and then the 26 is the golden blonde highlights and they're blended in and it's all throughout so it's not just in the front highlights you're gonna get it all the way through the back all the way in the back of the cap as well okay um, for these fashion syrup colors um, fashion syrup means highlights will be more pronounced and slightly chunkier. Okay, so, kind of a chunky highlight rather than like a blended, you know, finer highlights. This is more chunky fashion highlights. And that's how typically I would do my highlights anyway, personally. Um, so that's a little bit about that color. Let me give you a spin on all sides and then we'll talk a little bit about this wig. Okay, so we're gonna take a look inside this cap. I wanna show you the amazing hairline. Amazing hairline on Sarah. Show you the color here too. See those chunky highlights? You can brush her out if you want softer curls, and she will let down the more you wear her. Um, I kind of like her a little bit more spiral curls just because that's more like my natural. So we have the mono top, hand tied lace front hand tied cap look at this okay this is where john renault's hand tied cap breaks a mold you have this extra stretchy layer right here hello i was gonna say hello and it came out holla uh, okay <laughs> oh my goodness guys this is incredible this is like coming right out of your head there's such a difference I can't even explain it to you but until you've had wefts on your head and then you put this on your head it's just like so soft really soft okay amazing soft nape velcro tabs and actually my tabs look at they're not as like I could probably even take this in a little bit more but sometimes with my synthetics, they're like all the way out here, okay? But look at with this hand tied, I don't have to do it. Actually, I don't even think I adjusted these when I got it. Um, I just left it how it was in the box. So, um, cloth, super soft ear tabs, okay? So this part is not stretchy, this part is stretchy, okay? So this part is stretchy, 
and this part is just lace. Okay, so you want to still be careful on all these lace parts. Like I said, you don't want your bobby pins to go in them. You want to take good care of that lace. Let me kind of show you. See the, you can see right there, it's like a scalp, like it is growing out of a scalp. Look at those luscious curls. All right, so this is a 100% hand tied cap and she's an average size cap with synthetic fibers, okay? It's a single monofilament top and it's a lace front. Amazing, amazing lace front. Really good job, John Renault. Really good job. Okay. Um, it's really gorgeous, natural, wavy curls. Like I said, this reminds me a lot of my bio hair. I think I'll put in a couple pictures um, in here to show you. Um, there's been times that my bio hair went curlier, um, but to be honest, it's always been more of this size of curls. Um, but there was times where I could get it even smaller, which I think one of the pictures I've shown on my Instagram and I probably will put in here shows a little bit more tighter curls. Um, that was actually pretty odd for me. So I think the majority is kind of like this wave. Um, so that's why I love it so much. It feels like home. You know, I think whenever we start wearing hair, especially when we're first starting out, if we're not planning to be very public with our journey, we want something that looks like our natural hair and that no one can know that we're wearing a wig, right? Um, and for me, this is it. Um, especially for wearing my hair curly. I hadn't been able to wear my hair curly for a few years because of it being so thin and um, damaged and brittle and just falling out. Um, so I miss wearing it curly. I haven't been able to wear it curly for probably three years real good to look real good if not more um, so yay! okay so let's talk about some measurements the bang is 15 inches so this piece right here is gonna be 15 inches it is about an inch give or take a little shorter than that because of the wave okay I'm gonna keep this out so while I show the measurements the crown is 17 inches and probably take it about 16 from the crown down. Okay. Um, the nape is 12 and a half from the nape down. So you saw the back there. And the sides are 15 and a half. Okay. And the weight on this is 5.1 ounces. To be honest, I can't tell. Um, my blank feels way heavier than this um, to me personally. I think the blank is heavier than this wig, um, but I can tell the difference. Um, this feels actually pretty lightweight for the amount of hair and for the weight. I was kind of like, oh, really? It doesn't feel like 5.1. Anyway, it's just my personal preference. Um, Okay, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I got this wig. So this is actually from Heart and & Hair, and their company started in October 2018, and they are doing something totally different, something that not you don't find, you don't find out there. And it's something so important, and I think a lot of people need, but they don't know how to get it, or they think that they can only go to a wig shop for so here's what heart and hair does they do virtual consultations or in-home consultations they are based out of san diego california and they have actually worked in the hair industry for numerous years um, they are former john renault employees um, and they had stopped working for john renault and then decided that they really wanted to stay in the hair community and so alicia from there um, started heart and hair um, and they partner with John Renault and other uh, wig companies and they help people find the best hair for them. What Heart and Hair offers is they do virtual consultations or in-home consultations. They ask you some questions before, they get to know you, what you like, 
um, maybe your lifestyle, how busy you are, what type of time that you have that you put into your hair. Maybe you're new and you don't, you're like, I don't know a thing, right? They kind of go off that. They go off what you're looking for. Maybe there's a certain color or there's a picture of your bio hair that you want to um, copy. Um, they help you find exactly what you're looking for, exactly what will fit you, what will work for your lifestyle, what will um, fit your head shape, your coloring, everything. They also do customization. So if you like a wig, but you need it a little bit thinner, you could send it in. They can do some um, customization for you. Everything is 100% confidential. And what they have to offer is I think what a lot of people need is they're not sure what to get. They're not sure what would look good on them. Um, they don't, they have something ideal in their head, but they don't know. And so what heart and hair does is they take all their knowledge that they know, they take everything that you're telling them about yourself and what you want, and they find you the perfect wig for you based on what you need. And these girls have connections. They um, are literally so close to John Renault headquarters. Um, and so this is a John Renault wig. And so they recommended so, Sarah. For I think for different styles you can do with her. I know a lot of people have kind of already talked on this, so I probably won't spend much time on this with her, but you could pull her up like that, like I kind of had her, or even just a little flip. You can do half up with her. I honestly am probably gonna wear her majority like this, mainly because that's the look I was going for, that's the look I wanted. Um, I'll probably still do my bump every once in a while, maybe as these curls soften up. Um, but for right now, I'm really enjoying how they look right now and I don't want to mess with them right now. Um, so that's just me. Um, but you know, this is synthetic. So as soon as you wash her, um, you, she's gonna, those curls are gonna spring right back forth. Um, or you can even get some water, spritz some water and kind of scrunch it as well. Also, what I loved about my consultation with Heart and Hair is they talked to me about how to take care of this wig. They kind of guided me through on the washing it. So especially if you're new to wigs and you don't even know what to do with your wigs or how to treat them, they're going to help you and they're going to teach you. And you're going to get like some really great advice. They're going to tell you if there's a wig you need to stay away from. They're gonna be honest with you. They're gonna tell you, please don't get this wig. This is not gonna be the right fit for you um, or the right look for you or the right fiber for you. They're gonna really help you out and give you the best advice so that you're not spending hundreds of dollars trying to find the perfect wig. Does that make sense? It's pretty awesome. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review of Sarah and me talking about heart and hair. So. Thank you for tuning in. If you like the content of this video, please press subscribe down below in the red. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, we have a lot of great things coming to you this year and I'm super excited about it. Some great education and some different things. And thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Have a great day. Bye.